hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome i hope you all are doing well so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make your own crochet wig with a lace frontal from scratch and we're going to be creating this wig using only one pack of braiding hair okay so with that said let's go straight into the video so you want to go ahead and remove the hair from the pack so next you want to go ahead and cut the hair into four bundles which two, four pieces okay four bundles so out of those four bundles you want to say we want to set two of those bundles aside so the remaining two bundles you want to go ahead and pull on the ends to give you extra length so the 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 rest of the two bundles we set aside we're going to be using that for the lace front so i'm going to show you how we're going to use that in this video that will be later on in this video okay so moving on to the wig cap i have a separate video showing you guys how to make this diy wig cap for crochet braid okay for crochet wig so once go ahead and watch that video or if you've seen that video let's move on so to start you want to take a, a fabric marker if you have it or you can take a concealer and go ahead and make a line just draw in a hairline on how you want your crochet front to, to look i couldn't find my uh, my fabric marker so i decided to go with a concealer okay so now let's move on to doing the crochet braid so to start you want to take a tiny amount of hair and also using a regular crochet hook you want to pass the hook through the black cap so next you want to hook the hair pull it through the black cap all right using the crochet hook hook the hair pass it through the loop hook the hair again pass it through the loop and pull on the end to secure it in place okay just like that so this is how um, how the crochet braid is looking so far as so you can see the amount of hair i use for the crochet braid is really small you don't want to don't want to use too much hair on the back of the of the cap so and also to ensure that you have that fuller looking crochet wig without having to use too much hair what you want to do you want to make sure that the next hair you're going to be placing on top falls in between the space on the bottom so this will help to give you that fuller looking crochet wig without having to use too much hair also this will prevent it prevent the wig from being too heavy on the back okay and also you want to make sure to space it out a little bit not too much just a little bit since you're using a tiny amount of hair for the crochet braid so you don't have to give that much space on the on the back of the wig but still make sure you don't overdo it you don't want it to be crowded on the back of the wig okay so i've already did uh, half of the frontal off camera so i'm gonna go ahead and show you how to create the lace frontal for your crochet wig okay this how is looking beautiful okay i'm gonna show you in the next clip all right moving on to the next step we're going to be creating the crochet lace frontal so you want to take the hair bundle we set aside earlier so you want to take that bundle and take a little bit of hair out of that bundle and set the rest aside so we're going to be working with a little piece of hair at a time so take the little piece of hair out of the bundle go ahead and comb through the hair to make sure it's tangle free okay all right next you want to take a small crochet hook a tiny crochet hook you don't want to use the same crochet hook you use on the back of the wig so you want to use a tiny crochet hook okay so next take the hair and fold it over so you want to make sure to have one short end and one long end just like that okay so next take the tiny crochet hook pass it through the lace okay careful don't rip the lace Pass it through the lace. Next, go ahead and hook two strands of hair. Okay, pass it through the lace. So next, using the crochet hook, hook the hair and pass it through the loop just like that. Again, take the crochet hook, pass it through the lace. All right. Next, hook two strands of hair and pass it through the lace using the crochet hook. Hook the hair and pass it through the loop just like that okay so you also want to make sure to space it out okay and also getting close to the edge of the line you want to switch from two strands to one strand okay switch from two strands to one strand when once you get close to the edge of the line so that will give you a natural looking hairline from the back of the ear to the front of the 
cap to the front of the lace frontal okay so doing the same thing take the crochet hook pass it through the lace and hook one strand of hair right here and pass it through the lace using the crochet hook hook the hair pass it through the loop just like that so this is how it's looking so far so you want to make sure not to overcrowd the lace so you want to make sure to space out the hair when you're crocheting the hair so you want it to look natural when you pat the hair so maybe you want to do like a center pat or side pat or whatever however you want to style it so when you space out the hair on the lace you have more of a natural looking frontal just because it's synthetic hair doesn't mean it have to look synthetic we want it to look like flawless so when creating your crochet um, lace frontal so you want to make sure not to rush the process okay take as much time as you need take as much break as you need to ensure that you you do it the right way to make sure you have it looked as natural as you want it to look trust me you cannot sit down in one day and decide to finish a whole uh, a frontal in one day no it it yes it takes a lot of time to do a crochet uh, frontal but the end result is definitely what the time you put into it the more time you give yourself to sit down and settle down and create it to your liking the more you're gonna love the end result instead of rushing it free free take a, if you need to take like five days or two three days a week at least if you want even want to take one week break in between creating the lace frontal go ahead and do that okay so you don't want to rush it to achieve the best results you want to take your time okay all right let's move on again get into the front of the lace frontal you want to switch from two strands of hair to one strand of hair to create the natural looking hairline and again make sure to space it out okay space it out so that way it's not like crowded you want to create a natural looking frontal all right so doing the same thing gently pass the crochet hook through the lace hook one strand of hair on the front of the lace and hook the hair pass it through the loop just like that okay almost done so the next step you want to go ahead and do a single knot crochet all the way around so you want to use a stretched hair for this part okay so you want to crochet along the edge of the black cap so also along the edge on where you attach the lace frontal to the black cap so the reason why you need to do the sing the single knot crochet all the way around is to give you that smooth transition from the lace frontal to the crochet braid on the back on the black cap so when you do that you give you a smooth transition when you comb the hair your comb is not hooking to the crochet braid on the black cap so when you do a single crochet uh, braid all the way around you get that smooth and beautiful blend all the way through so to do that you want to take a tiny amount of hair smaller than the amount of hair you use on the black cap okay So this is how it's looking after doing the single knot crochet braid all the way around so next after that i went ahead and uh, washed the wig so right now i'm going ahead to dry off the excess water using a towel so next right here i'm going ahead to uh, blow dry the hair using the comb and my hand dryer so this gives the hair a really smooth and soft touch to the hair and also help the hair to dry faster instead of waiting overnight so so after blow drying the hair the next step right here i'm gonna go back in with a hot comb to comb through the hair because i want this hair to be like really soft and they have like that soft touch to the hair and also when using the hot comb you don't want to use uh, too much heat remember if you're using a synthetic hair you don't want to use too much heat so you want to set the uh, hot comb to a medium heat or a low heat okay so next right now i'm going ahead to unravel the twist i only uh, left the twist on for two minutes 
and now I'm just going ahead to unravel it and comb it. The hair is super duper soft, and I love the wavy texture that the uh, the twist is gave to this hair. It's beautiful. So this is the hair. This is the final result. Once you're done with all that, you are ready to rock your crochet wig. And I love, 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 love it, love it, love it. Okay guys, so this is the end of the video and I hope you find this crochet wig video helpful. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. If you already subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching today's video and also please do not forget to turn on the notification bell button so that way whenever I post a new video, you will get notified, alright? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.